Hello everybody. It's my pleasure to welcome you to my channel, Lazer Graphics and Multimedia. Uh, my name is Rafi Yaku, and in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step on how you can download Power Hub and how you can you log in with your Power Bar username and Power Bar password so that you'll be able to purchase whatever goods you want to buy from China and ship to your whatever country. So in this video, I will walk you through step by step to download and to log in. So let's get today practical video started. The first thing you need to do is to click on your Google Play Store. So when it's load up like this, make use of search bar and type Tahoba. Then it open up like this and make sure that you don't download the wrong one. So make sure you download the one you are seeing on the screen right here. Then the next step you have to take is to click on install. So after I successfully install of the Power Bar app on your phone, so the next thing to do is to exit from the Google Play Store. You have to exit here. Okay, so now we have the app on the on my on my phone screen right here. You can see it beside Hopper Hub. That is uh, Power Bar app. Now before we can use this Power Bar app, we need to have a, a, a high dictionary so high dictionary to make it easy for us to translate from chinese language to english language so that we'll be able to understand what is inside the taba hub now before we can so now the next thing i'm going to do is to turn on my ad dictionary and i believe so much that everybody here have already installed the high dictionary high dictionary and you have already configured it on your on your phone so now I'm going to click on my head dictionary. You need to allow the dictionary app to load up like this. Once it's load up, click on this big button here to make it turn on. And make sure that the high icon appear before you assist the high dictionary app. Now the high has appeared. So the next thing I'm going to do is to exit from this high dictionary. Now, we are ready to use our Tauba app. So the next thing I'm going to do is to click on Tauba icon from the screen, from my phone screen here. So when you click on Tauba app icon, it's going to load up like this. And you can see here, everything was written in Chinese language. Now with the help of our high dictionary that we have already configured on our phone, so we will be able to translate all this Chinese language to English language. So I'm going to select my iDictionary icon from this point here. In your own hand, your iDictionary icon might be in any other place. All you have to do is to look for your phone screen and look for the iDictionary. So now I'm going to make use of global translation. I will select global translation. So you can see, so global translation make it easy for you to translate your Chinese language to all English language. So you'll be able to read whatsoever they wrote there. So you can see now that everything has been changed into English. You can read from the top to the bottom. All right, so now if you sweep, it's called, it's all automatically turned back to Chinese language. Now, another way around to use your dictionary, you can take it and drag to the points that you need to know the meaning. So you can see here means agree. So if I drag to the bottom here, it means disagree. So in this regard, we have to click on agree, which is this red uh, orange uh, icon. Okay, now here, this is another challenge is written in English. I mean, written in Chinese, so we need to translate so we'll be able to know what is happening here. So I will take my tree here. So this means it may affect your account security land and equity acquisition after refusing. Let's see what happened here. Uh -huh. So you just click on OK here. Click on here. Okay. Now, at this point here, Tauba asking you to have access to your phone call. Click on Allow. Then 
boom. Here, Taobao asking you to access your device location. Click on allow. Now, this is another critical area. At this point here, you need to let us translate. Global translation. Okay, what we have here is, is global translate global invites you to switch to the global station. More surprise waiting for you. What this simply means is that if you switch to global translate uh, translation, you have access to make payment with your Visa card or Mastercard. This is alternative to people that find it difficult to use Alipay. So if you are unable to verify your Alipay to make payment to your Chinese supplier, so Taoba is very good for you because with Taoba, you will be able to pay directly to your supplier using your local Visa card or MasterCard. So in this regard, I'm going to let us see what we have here. Switch to Global Station. So I'll click on Switch to Global Station. Done. Now here, we may be asked to log in to uh, this app. So all you have to do is uh, you log in with your Taobao username and Taobao password. Okay. So here, if you are if you successfully log in, then you click on this icon here. So here we will ask to log in. All right. So how do you log in? You just come to the top here. This is where you type in your Taobao username. So I'm going to enter my Taobao. So when you enter your correct Taba username, then you click on here. Now you'll be asked to enter your Taba password. Okay, so after I enter your Taba username and Taba password, you have to click on this big orange button here. This big orange red button. Boom. So you have successfully logged in to your Taobao profile. So you can see here, this is my Taobao ID. And uh, so this is my Taobao page. Now, for you to understand what everything means here, you need to just use your uh, ID dictionary to translate. So if I drag my ID dictionary here, this simply means pending payment. If I drag here, this simply means to be shipped. If I drag in here, this simply means to be received. If I drag in here, this means evaluation after you have received your goods. If I drag in here, this means refund after sales. So now, if you want to purchase from uh, your Chinese supplier, so you can just click on here. You'll be able to see products. There are a lot of products. This is just like 1688 hub. The only thing here is that you can pay with Alipay account and you can pay with your Visa or MasterCard directly without having issue at all. So this is an alternative to people that can't make payment via the Alipay account. So you can scroll down. So whatever price of the goods here is the same price on uh, 1688. So everything works in the same way. It's, this is just a fashion to those people that could not make payment via 1688. So if you successfully install Taba account and you log in with your Taba username and Taba password, you're able to purchase whatsoever you want to purchase and pay directly with your MasterCard or local Visa card. Uh, if you guys find this video helpful, click on the like button and also remember to subscribe to the channel for more interesting video like this. If you have any special question for me, contact me via the phone number on the screen of this video. I'll be able to respond to whatsoever question you have and i hope you guys learn one or two things in this video thank you for watching this video from the beginning to the end and hope to see you in the next video bye for now